Hello folks, today we will learn how to generate a Remita Retrieval Reference Number from the Remita website. First of all, you need to have a smartphone or a computer system, preferably a laptop, with network connectivity, that is internet or data in our local language. Head into the website of Remita at remita.net. You press enter and you wait for the page to load. As you already know, Remeter has now seen an extensive use for payments to either a federal government or state government agencies, as it is, and I say it is, the only medium of transaction between us and the Treasury Single Account, TSA. So to pay a federal government agency or any other agency using Remitter, you have two options. You either head in here to the search bar where you can type the name of the agency you are paying the money to or you can come down here to pay FGNs and set TSA. Here you can use this to directly pay to either of the agencies. My, my favorite option is this, the search bar, where you can just type the name of the agency and from the result you select the one of your chosen. So let's assume we are paying, um, we are buying a tender from let's say uh, Bayero University Kano. So you can just type Bayero and wait for the results to come. As you can see we have Bayero University Kano select Bayer University kernel and it will take us to another page where we will make the payment after we fill in the required informations so we wait for the page to load after the page has loaded we see we have the name of service or purpose and here we are selecting what tender fees since we are buying a tender and then this GIFMIS code is unique to every agency so you should contact Bayero University for their own code but as you can see here each and every item that has this red star besides it means it's compulsory so seeing GIF miss code doesn't have this time means it's optional so for now we can leave it blank and description fee will say tender fee for the construction of blah 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 whatever you fill in there as a description the amount to pay depends on the amount that is payable for tender documents so let's assume we are paying 25,000 naira and the currency is in naira but if you are paying the option is either naira or dollars so you are pay, you are, if you are paying in dollars you put US dollars here you fill in the payer's name so if you are paying for yourself as a school fees you insert or you type in your name here your full name but if you are paying like myself now we are paying for a tender fee you just put in the company name that is paying the tender so let's say we are paying for Wengi's Tech Incorporated for example and our mobile phone number is 234 8060358004 Our email address is bangies tech sorry at gmail.com We type it again bangies tech at gmail.com now the mode of payment how do you want to pay here we have multiple options we have the internet banking which will take you to the banking profile your internet banking profile you make the payment there and we have paga slash pocket money these are payment methods that you have to have an account with them before you use them and we have the bank branch where you go to the bank branch which will remit a number and make the payment in cash 
then we have two options the mastercard and visa card which are my favorites where you use your mastercard while you are sitting at home at the comfort of your mattress like i am now so we are only covering or i'm only covering bank branch and mastercard and visa card so for the first option that is bank branch you click on bank branch and you wait for it to load after it finishes this is the price we are we are paying 25000 and then this is the verification of if you are not a robot so i'm not a robot you just click in here and wait for the recapture to load when the capture finishes loading you click on submit yeah So, as you can see, our remitter retrieval number, as you can see, our remitter retrieval number is right here, which is 2902-0075-2473. So, if you are going to pay at the bank and you are using your mobile phone or your system, you don't have a printer close to you or at hand, you only need copy this remitter retrieval number that is 2902 take it to the bank you fill in their deposit slip leaving the account name and account number blank while only writing this remitter retrieval number and the amount payable that's it but what if you want to pay using your mastercard or visa card so we'll now go back to the first page and change the option from bank branch to either mastercard or visa card so as you can see we are back here now in the drop down menu we choose mastercard or visa card either one the method is the same so we say mastercard and we can see we have an additional drop down menu here where here you put the card holder name for our case the card holder name is CC CVV. The CVV can be found on the your Mastercard. That is on the other side, on the back side of the Mastercard, which is normally a tree figure. Then you verify that you are a human being, not a robot, and wait for the recapture to load I'm very sorry the values are hidden for security reasons so when the page finished loading we have two methods of authenticating the payment this is based on your bank I'm using UBA bank so the first method is a hard token a hard token is issued to you by your bank on request or maybe for a uba case you can use a secure pass it's an application that secure that gives you a secure password to use one time for online transactions the other option is the otp a one-time password that is sent via your registered phone number as an sms which will be used to authenticate the payment so for this case we are choosing an OTP so we will click here and then wait for the page to load when the page finished loading as you can already see here you will be sent the password which is only valid for like I think 5 minutes so you input that value here it's, a, it's an 8 figure 8 digit sorry the moment you put that value here and click submit it will authenticate the payment and your account will be debited that's it folks thank you for watching and stay tuned for other cool tutorials like this one